This is a GIMP tutorial. I'm going to show you how to make uh, Art Nouveau desktop wallpaper or backgrounds for wine labels or whatever you like in a that are sort of abstract Art Nouveau-ish design. Uh, it's really easy. First, let's start up the GIMP. and create a new file I'm going to do 1024 by 768 first thing you want to do is expand the window a little bit here and then I'm going to pick a couple of color, a foreground color and a background color um, <clears throat> you can pick whatever colors you like I'm going to do, let's see uh, what's a good one? I want to do sort of Ubuntu-ish colors here, I guess. Pick a dark one for the background. <clears throat> uh, light one. And then I'm going to use the gradient tool. I'm going to put it on radial. And then from about the middle of the screen Oops, got the gradient backwards. There we go. <clears throat> that may be... That's a little better. Okay, that's first step. Now, second step is Control L to bring up the level thing, the layer dialog. Make a new layer. And we're going to pick a really dark, almost black color. Um, I'm going to use the ink tool. I'm going to use this big square one. Uh, let's see, I'm going to make it pretty big. Let's see here. And then I'm just going to start making these kind of curvy lines. Oops, that's a little too big. Control Z to undo. Get the size of this thing. Let's see. It's a little too small. That's about right. And you want to make sure that you touch every edge <clears throat> at least once when you're doing this part. Okay, that's probably enough of the big lines. Now I'm going to make some smaller ones. I'm going to change the shape of this ink pad thing. It's a little too small. And just make these wavy sort of whiplash lines. And you can oops, like that one. If you make one you don't like, you just control Z and it'll get rid of it. Make some little like sort of like grasses sticking up. Just organic kind of shapes. like vines or grasses and <clears throat> that's about enough probably okay the next thing to do is select by color and you're going to select these black lines and you control C to copy control V to paste and then you choose layer, transform, flip horizontal. And on the layer thing, you do anchor layer. And now you've got a symmetric pattern. Um, if you were careful and made lines touch every edge, then it should already be lined up and there's no moving about. It, sh it should be perfectly symmetric. The next thing to do is to duplicate this layer on the layers dialog. Click right here. Um, and then we want to go and click our color and change it back to this lighter color so we got our, our gradient more or less back now you can you can completely change the colors at this point and use two different colors than the background but <clears throat> depending on what your goal is and if you want a very subtle 
kind of design, you would you would have wanted to pick two colors that were fairly close to each other, and then and then at this stage use those same colors. Um, <clears throat> if you're looking for a more contrasty wild design, you can of course pick whatever colors you want. Uh, I'm going to go with these colors that I've got right here. I might make this one a little lighter. Um, we're going to pick the gradient tool again. Uh, this time we're going to change it from radio back to linear. Uh, select by color. Select all this black stuff. And then using the control key to keep your gradient aligned vertically, set up a gradient like that. And select none. And you have a pretty cool design. Now, if you notice, there's a kind of uh, a place in the design, this kind of arc through the design, where the where the, the gradient that's in the foreground sort of matches the gradient that's in the background. So you get this kind of hazy uh, curve here, which looks like fog almost. <clears throat> and that's kind of doesn't look the, the that great. So the <clears throat> the way to get around that, or to make that sort of disappear is to go back here to your other layer and remember we duplicated that later that layer with the black lines you want to uh, bring that duplicate layer to the front so you get your black lines again um, select by color select those black lines again go to select um, and then to path this will create a path which is the outline of these black lines and then you want to select a third color which is lighter even than any of the other colors um, and you could make this color, uh, you know, a completely different color. I'm going to choose a very similar color here. Uh, next thing to do is edit, and you want to do stroke path. Um, line width, I usually bump it down to four to make it fairly thin, and turn off anti-aliasing. Now, the reason you want to turn off anti-aliasing is because if you don't, then it's going to, at the edges of these lines, it's going to kind of blend with this black thing. And later we're going to delete that black. I and mean, if you don't turn off the anti-aliasing and you delete this black, uh, it will leave the things which are almost black, but not quite, that were put there by the anti-aliasing. And so you'll be left with these little black specks that are uh, you can't really get rid of. Um, so that's why I turn off the anti-aliasing. And select none. Select, and now you can see if I zoom in here. I don't know if I can zoom in. I could do it on the computer. You can see that it's outlined. Um, the next thing to do is select by color. Select the black lines. Well, actually, there's there's two things you could do here. You have you kind of have a choice. Let's select none. One of the things that you can do is go up to this layer that uh, we just have and reduce the transparency. And then <clears throat> you can retain your outlined lines that you created <clears throat> and just make this black part semi-transparent and let that gradient show through. Um, and then you'll notice that hazy curve that we had is sort of gone, be partly because the transparent black is changing the design so that the, the level doesn't match up so precisely, um, and partly because that brighter outline keeps it from working. <clears throat> now the other option besides just reducing the opacity of that top layer is to go in here and select by color, select those black lines and delete it, which will allow that gradient behind it to show up. Um, you still might want to reduce the opacity, and now it's the opacity of the outlines. You know, there it is, full opacity, and then you can reduce it down where you like it, just to push it into the background. 
And so, <clears throat> there you have a pretty cool sort of Art Nouveau design um, created in just a few minutes. Doesn't need any talent. It's very organic and kind of cool looking, um, but very easy to create. And, uh, well, hope you enjoyed it.